right, Algebra 1, Lesson 99. This one is on uniform motion, unequal distances. All right, so let's look at the first example. It says this. At 8 p.m., Achilles left camp and headed south at 20 kilometers per hour. At 10 p.m., Patroclos headed south from the same camp. If Patroclos was 50 kilometers ahead by 3 a.m., what was his speed? Okay, so very first thing I'm going to do is write down distance, rate, and time. And see if we can discover any of those, and then we'll talk further. Okay, first of all, um, does it tell us how far they went? Um, well, I see 20 kilometers per hour. And I see 50 kilometers ahead. Um, so it doesn't look like it tells us any distance um, other than we know that it's 50 kilometers ahead. Patroclos is 50 kilometers ahead of uh, Achilles. Okay, so let's want to write down um, the distance. Um, let's see. 50 kilometers ahead, Patroclos. The distance of Patroclos was or is 50 more ahead of the distance of Achilles. That's all we know about distances, okay? All right, now let's look. Um, do we know anything about rates? Hmm, we know that Achilles, the rate of Achilles is 20 kilometers an hour. 20 kilometers an hour. Okay, do we know the rate of Patroclos? No, that's what the question is. What was his speed? So we don't know anything. Do we know anything about time? We know that Achilles is from 8, and they want to know if... Patrolos was 50 miles ahead, or kilometers ahead by 3, so 3 o'clock is the ending time, so 8 to 3, that's 7 hours. So the time of um, Achilles is from 8 to 3, which is 7 hours, and the time of Patrolos is 10 to 3, which is 5 hours. Okay, now we've got all of our information that was from the text. Okay, and all I did is write down distance, rate, and time and figure out all of those. Okay, now, do you remember that distance equals rate times time? So I'm going to put distance of Patrolos and the distance of Ar Ar uh, Achilles. Okay, and so since distance equals rate times time, then the distance of Patrolos is the rate of Patrolos times the time of Patrolos equals 50 plus the rate, remember distance equals rate times time, so distance is the rate of Achilles times the time of Achilles. So this is kind of our thing that we're going to be using. All right? Now, uh, let's see if that's all the information we need right there. Okay. Now, before we move any further, um, I'm going to leave this alone for a minute, okay? Um, do you know how I said the distance equals the rate times the time? We know the rate of um, Achilles, and we know the time of Achilles. So let's put the rate and the time to see how far they went, okay, before we finish all this. So I'm going to do the distance of Achilles, the rate of Achilles, and the time of Achilles. So the rate of Achilles was 20 kilometers Per hour and the time of Achilles was seven hours. So the distance of Achilles is seven times 20, which is 140, and we're doing kilometers. So the distance of Achilles is 140 kilometers. Now, this is some good information for us to have because I have the distance right here for Achilles. So, if the distance of Patrolos is 50 plus the 140, which is the distance of Achilles, then the distance of Patrolos is 
190 kilometers. Okay? That's some real good information for us to know. Okay? Um, let's see if there's anything else we need on that. Okay, so now um, they are wanting to know the rate of petrolose. Okay? So it looks like we're not even going to have to use this because I can figure out the rate by using this. But instead of it being dA on all those, I'm going to do dP. Now, we know that the distance of, let's put P up here, P and P, the distance of patrolose is 190. Okay? The rate, which is what we don't know, we have to discover, but we do know the time is five hours. Okay? Now, so this says five times what equals 190. So, um, I'm going to go on and say, since this is five times RP, this times five goes divided by five, and then RP equals 38, I believe is what, yep, 38, and because it's rate, it's kilometers per hour. Could have been miles per hour, but in this story, we were talking about kilometers. So, there you go. That's what the question was and they were asking us. So, we ended up not even having to use this, even though we've used that a lot on all the other problems. We actually ended up using with just this, we wrote down all our information, and then just used this equation for P and A, um, Patrolos and Achilles, and that helped us without even having to use this. So, all right, let's look at 99.2, and this one's quite different. Um, so let's look into this one together. Here's what it says. Rachel has a 15 kilometer head start on Charlene. How long will it take Charlene to catch Rachel if Rachel travels at 70 kilometers per hour and Charlene travels at 100 kilometers per hour? Okay? But again, Rachel has a 15 kilometer head start. Okay? So how long will it take her to catch Rachel? Okay? Um, the very first thing that uh, we want to write down is do we know anything? Let's go and write our DR and T and see if there's anything that we know. Um, what do we know about the distance? Mm. We know that the distance of Charlene equals the distance of Rachel, but plus 15, right? Okay, so the dis distance of Charlene equals the distance of Rachel, but then there's going to be plus 15 more that Rachel has. So... That's what we know about distance. What do we know about rate? We know that the rate of Charlene equals uh, rate of Charlene 100 kilometers an hour. And we know that the rate of Rachel, I'll put T down here, the rate of Rachel is 70 kilometers per hour. And then the time um, how long will it take? So that's the time. We don't know. Okay? So, um, but it, it apparently, um, the time of Rachel is the same as the time of Charlene, um, because they went the same amount of time, just one went faster. So we do know that. I guess that's kind of important. Okay. So now, what we're going to do is let's take this information that we have, okay, and the very first thing I'm going to do, um, I do believe we're going to end up using this one right here. So because of that, um, I'm going to go and write it up here. The distance of Charlene equals the distance Rachel plus 15. Okay? Now, um, here we go. So if, um, remember, distance equals rate times time. So this distance is the rate of Charlene times the time of Charlene equals the rate of Rachel times the time of Rachel plus 15. Okay? Now, let's go on and enter all this in. RC is 100. TC is TR, or TR is TC. Um, since we're wanting the time of Charlene, let's go on and answer for TC. 
So um, let's make TC stay like it is, because that's the one we're wanting to answer for. So this TR, I'm going to change to TC, because TC is TR. Okay? And that way we don't have two different measurements happening right here. And then the rate of Rachel is 70. But then we have plus 15. So now we have TC, TC, which is what we want in order to do these. Okay? So now this says 100 TC. And then this 70 TC, we're going to move it across. And right now it's positive, so we're going to make it negative or minus, which equals 15. Okay? So then we get 30 TC equals 15. And since this says 30 times TC, this times 30 is going to divide by 30. And TC equals 15 will go into 15 one time, 15 will go into 30 two times. So, how much time? A half an hour. Okay? And I believe that answers it. Yep, it sure does. Okay? So, the time of Charlene is a half of an hour. That's how long it's going to take her to catch Rachel is a half of an hour. Okay? Now, let's look at this last one. This is in 99.3. All right. And again, we're going to write down D, R, and T and see what we can find out. Harry and Jeanette jog around a circular track that is 210 meters long. Okay. Um, then it says this. Jeanette's rate is 230 meters a minute, while Harry's rate is 200 meters a minute. How many minutes will Jeanette be a full lap ahead? So we know that the distance of Jenny... Um, let's see. The, okay, so if Jenny is going to be a full lap ahead, then that means the distance of Jenny is going to be the distance of Harry plus another full lap, which is 210. I hope you get that. So the distance of G Jenny is going to be the distance of Harry plus another lap because she's going to be, um, Jenny is going to be one lap ahead, which is, 210 uh, kilometers or meters, meters, okay? So there's our distance, let's look at rate. We know that Jenny's rate, so the rate of Jenny is 230 meters per minute, okay? And we know that the rate of Harry the rate of Harry is 200 meters a minute. Okay? Now what about time? Does it tell us about time? Looks like they're going to be going the same amount of time because by the time they end, they end up doing it, she's going to be one map ahead, lap ahead, but they end at the same time. So that means that the time of Jenny is the same as the time of Harry. All right, so again, let's make this uh, using this. And remember, distance equals rate times time. So distance, the rate of Ginny times the time of Ginny equals the rate of Harry times the time of Harry plus 210. So that's going to be the equation that we use, it looks like. All right, so let's enter in some information. RJ equals 230. TJ, we know that TJ equals TH, but let's see if we want to change that. The final question is how many minutes, which is time, will Jeanette? So I'm wanting to answer for TJ. So I'm leaving TJ there. That way we can say TJ equals blah, blah, blah. Okay, so leave that there. RH, 200. TH, remember we want to make it TJ because we're answering for the time of G plus 210. All right. So now that's 230TJ equals 200TJ plus 210. So I'm going to move this plus. Um, yeah, let's do that. So let's move this across the equals and it becomes negative or minus. So negative 200TJ plus 230TJ. Okay. So that ends up giving us 
200 plus um, negative 200 plus 230 gives me 30 TJ. Make sure I'm doing all this right. Yes. Okay. So then um, TJ, and then, then we got just the 210. So I moved this over. All right. Now 30 goes into 210. Uh, seven. Yep, seven times. So TJ is seven, and because it's time, and we're talking about minutes, it's going to be seven minutes. Okay? TJ is seven minutes. So, and TH is seven minutes too, because they are both the same. Okay? So what was the time of Jenny? How long, how many minutes would it take Jenny to be a full lap ahead? Seven. Seven minutes. All right, that's lesson 99.